Will you ever travel again like you did before? Or is that chapter in your life done? I am so happy to say that chapter in my life is done. I never enjoyed traveling ever. I only enjoyed being in new destinations. I enjoyed being in new countries, new cities, new places. That was really fun for me, but I hated traveling. Hated the airports and the trains and the taxis and the Ubers and crap. Oof. The idea. Traveling to me is always feels and some people love traveling i guess but for me i've always felt so like out of place like not where i want to be when i'm traveling when i get to a place i get settled i get in the airbnb i'm like oh, okay sick we're here let's just set up shop here for a while. i love just setting up shop and just making it like bunkering down i love setting up shop and just bunkering down like that's why i feel so good doing what i'm doing right now making this video with you guys like i'm at home i'm in my office I'm checking off some big thing on my list today and I'm just doing the thing that I love doing. The idea of traveling is like whew, such a nuisance, such a distraction, such a waste of time. Like time travel needs to happen or like instant teleportation needs to happen. Not time travel. I mean, teleportation that needs to happen. That needs to be a thing. The reason I love, I love my Tesla so much is because like 90% of the time when I'm driving it, I'm not actually driving it. It's on autopilot. I'm being driven like my, the car, Tesla is like the first car that drives itself, right? So it's like you're in that, it's driving you. So a thing I love, the thing I love about with long road trips, I'm not actually driving. In fact, I pay very, very little attention to the road. I pay like maybe like 20% of my time is spent looking at the road. Sounds really bad to say. Maybe like, maybe like 30% is looking at the road. The rest of the time though, I'm just like chilling. I'm like looking around at the scenery. Like I'm just embracing it. And like, I'm not actually trying to drive. I'm just chilling. I'm just like being, and it feels really good. Um, and it allows my brain to process and I'm not, not even to worry about driving or I'm like getting stuff done. Um, it sounds really bad to say, but like I'm doing something illegal, which is like taking notes on my phone, like writing really good notes. I'm coming up with really good ideas. Or I have my voice note open, a voice memo. And I'm just talking to the voice memo app. And it's taking my voice and turning it into notes. So I'm not actually like typing. I'm just like speaking into it. It's still illegal, but I get so much work done when I travel in the Tesla. And uh, it doesn't take away from my, my, my productivity too much because at least I'm getting some good ideas down. But if I had to drive five hours, that would suck. I used to have to drive five hours before I had the Tesla. So can't imagine being an entrepreneur without a Tesla. That would really suck. Uh, and when I'm in a plane, when I'm in a train, I, like all I'm trying to do is just get as much work done as I can to make up for the fact that I'm traveling and it's screwing up my schedule. So I've definitely never been a fan of traveling. I don't feel like I need to go to the tropics anymore. I feel like I've already gotten that out of my system for now. I love Canada. I love where I'm at now. I love what I'm doing every day. And it, dude, like, the pleasure I get from being good at what I do trumps the pleasure of being able to travel somewhere. Like being really good at something feels really good. Being really good at something feels really good. Nobody can take that away from you. Like being really, even if you're not, you don't even have to be the best in the world at it. Like nowhere near the best in the world. Just being good at something though, nobody can ever take that away from you. Like, like if you, if you run like a marathon in like, let's say, I don't know, three hours or something. And to you, that's like really good. Amazing. That's awesome. No one's ever going to take that away from you. You did a three hour marathon. You're fit enough to run a three hour marathon. That's fantastic. I'm sure. The world record's two hours, but who cares? You did three hours. And like, you worked really hard to get that and you feel really fit and awesome because of that. But like you travel to freaking Venezuela or something like anyone can do that. Anyone can travel to Thailand and see a beach. Anyone can do that. It's not hard. Just get on a plane and go. Yeah, the view's nice. Yeah, it's cool vibes. I've had great experiences traveling. I've seen some really epic places, like unbelievable places that never even knew existed. Better than you could ever Photoshop or better than you could ever put in a freaking calendar. Better images than you ever find on Google Images. I've seen with my own eyes. But I care more about my accomplishments in life than I have care about what I've seen. And... uh being fit and being a good entrepreneur matters more to me than seeing a beach in Thailand or something. So yeah, I'm done with traveling for now. Might pick it up again in the future if I want. 
But again, I've never loved traveling. I've just loved the destination. And I think it's, and it's the opposite with my business. My business is the opposite. I love the journey. I could care less about the destination. Like someone asked me earlier, how much do you make? And I looked up how much money I made this year. I don't care how much money I made this year. I just want to be able to make enough to afford the lifestyle I live and uh, have the freedom I have. But the actual money I make so low on my importance list. I really don't have that much need for money besides making more of it <laughs> and uh, being able to have the freedom and flexibility to live how I want to live and have, you know, have some nice things like a nice car and a nice float tank, nice house, but I have a small house. I don't have a big house. I don't want a big house. Having maids, having a chef, it's key. Couldn't do that if I didn't have the money. I don't know how I, I did it without a maiden chef before. Like looking back, that was like barbaric. <laughs> like a couple of months ago, not having a maid, not having a chef. That was ancient times. Like I had to actually clean all my freaking dishes. I had to clean the bathroom. I had to clean the kitchen. I had to keep the 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 rooms clean and the garage clean and my office clean and like whoa. I had to do all that. That was taking me away from my work. And I had to make the food. Like, whoa, so much time. And if you count up those hours, let's say it takes you an hour a day to clean, an hour a day to make food. That's two hours a day. For the course of a week, that's 14 hours a week. Over the course of a month, that's uh, 60 hours a month. 60 hours a month. Imagine if you spent those 60 hours working on your business, you'd be so much further ahead. 60 hours, wow. Plus the maids are there for this. I have two maids, and uh, two maids and they do chefing too. They're there for like three hours a day, uh, three times a week. But they put in a good, like I see how much time they're putting in and I'm like, I could never put in that time. And I was putting in maybe half that time before, but shit, such a waste of time. So that's uh. That's just another reason for wanting to not travel and just stay put and just get good at what I do so I can have my lifestyle set up in a way where I don't have to lift fingers in areas where I don't want enough to lift a finger, like rinsing my freaking fork. <laughs> yeah. And I like things to be really clean. I just don't need to be the one to clean it. I love when things are clean and organized. I really do. That's like, it has to be that way. If something's not clean and organized, it like, yeah, it bothers me. But I don't want to be the one to clean and organize it. That's a waste of time. Somebody else can do that full time. 